Yeah, good Friday morning tracking some rain chances back in the forecast. In fact, some of those showers now knocking on our doorstep, getting ready to head right into the region. Today's not a complete washout, but by this afternoon should see at least some dry time setting up, especially into southeast Missouri and parts of southern Illinois. Sets the stage as another cold front moves through this afternoon for another cold morning tomorrow morning. Chance for some more frost in the forecast. Now by Saturday afternoon, those winds turning already back to the south. And with that, some sunshine should rebound temperatures back well into the 60s. Sunday actually brings our next chance for some wet weather, so we have enjoyed some dry time through much of this month thus far, but the rest of the month actually shaping up to be heading back on the wet side of things and possibly even into May as well. Some of those showers now starting to enter into our western counties through Randolph County, getting ready to head into western sections of Perry and Jackson counties as well, and then further to the south, out across parts of southeast Missouri through Madison, Wayne, down into Carter and Ripley counties as well, right along the current river dealing with some wet weather. Now that line of showers is going to continue to push off to the east. It's moving at about 35 miles per hour. So here over the next hour, it'll move into places like Mount Vernon back over near DeCoin and likely be moving into Murfreesboro, Carbondale and even approaching Cape Girardeau here by about 645 this morning. Temperatures upper 40s and low 50s right now. So that's a big change from yesterday morning where we had temperatures still into the 30s. We're on the warm side of this storm system. Notice we are dealing with a lot of rain back out across parts of Missouri and to our north out across central Illinois. The northern part of the state actually seeing a lot of snow early this morning, quite a bit of snow through the I-80 corridor from about Chicago westward back into Iowa. In fact, live view right now from Chicago uh, looking at Wrigleyville and you can see the snow flying out there, but no snow around here again. It is going to be all rain with this one. We do expect that wet weather to be moving in here over the next hour. Live view from the Perryville Airport it has not quite arrived there yet, but it will do so here probably over the next half hour or so. So 7 a.m. still expecting some of these widespread showers to be lingering across the area. Notice they move eastward pretty quickly by 5 p.m. this afternoon and this evening. Some of those showers into western Kentucky, things in southern Illinois and much of southeast Missouri starting to dry out, but winds will turn out of the north and west behind this cold front. That means our high temperatures today may come late this morning and into the early part of the afternoon, and then temperatures actually slipping back for the second half of the day. Overnight tonight, high pressure builds in from the west, and by tomorrow morning, it's sitting almost right on top of us. That should lead to clear skies and very light winds. That's why we've got some concern about frost potential as we head into Saturday morning. Now, as we head into Saturday afternoon, some sunshine temperatures back out of the south on the western side of the high will bring temperatures back into the 60s. And here's more wet weather in the forecast with another system set to move our way towards the second half of the weekend. Neither the one today or the one on Sunday is going to bring us a lot of rain. On average, we're talking about a quarter, maybe to a half an inch of rainfall. That's through the weekend. Again, today, temperatures likely going to bounce up into the mid to upper 50s and then slip back this afternoon, especially on the areas to the north of that cold front into southern Illinois, southeast Missouri. By 3 p.m., likely even some upper 40s in some of our northern counties. Overnight tonight, a few spots may dip very close to freezing, especially along the I-64 corridor. Some areas may bottom out about 30 to 31 degrees on a Saturday morning morning. Almost everyone though back in the mid 30s on Saturday. So a frost advisory has been issued, especially into southern Illinois, southeast Missouri. Again, patchy frost is possible at this point. Hopefully we'll keep the wind around enough to really minimize some of that today, though 56 degrees at noon and then dropping back a few degrees later this afternoon. Notice those rain chances are highest here through the morning hours and then this evening by nine. We're back into the mid 40s and rain getting out of here by midnight. Looking ahead to Saturday afternoon, about 60 degrees. Pretty nice afternoon coming ahead for us on Saturday. Sunday brings that chance for some showers. Temperatures, though, still on the mild side as winds will be out of the south and west. Monday and Tuesday of next week, two best days of the week. 65 on Monday, 71 on Tuesday. We've got some more rain chances if we head into Wednesday and Thursday. Of